Money, I'm my best friend, my best friend. Teach them, reign civil in dust to the fullest. I am here vibing with a girl with a second down body. She has been putting in the work over the years in the music space. Her parents named her Lorraine Seville, but we know her as... Rain Seville. Black Rain. <laughs> Lady Rain. Black Rain Fall, you know. Bad What's... and bougie. That's right. Pretty brown in. What? Me slippery when wet. What? Big up yourself. What's up, my boss? You're such a doll. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you know, cause that, that, uh, yeah, yeah, for being a doll, you know, you know. All is well. All is well. Looking great, mama. Thank you. Ride or die, me do my duty. Nobody get fooled by the beauty. When my woman get ride on the sushi, come about down my bougie. But girl and stush girl, you can't call the same. No big girl can't call my name. The thing wet them. Why you really think them call me rain? Yo, some girl a trap behind me back, see me can't make a sound. Them say them a step up, but them not nah step alone. I wear them really think they think me left alone. I said them bad, well I must them breath alone. If I wear them want a piece, I tell them I'm no pepperoni. As a little girl, as you diss me, you get a stone. Now what? In her head something, I dead your drown. Me not for bone a split for bad. Me rub them out quicker than a 50 bag. Yo, black rain, oh, your tan so bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad damn my bougie. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Lady Rain. Well, so all is well. But they are going all it in All is well so far. I look one pretty little you. Yeah. I'm, I'm a doll. What do you say now? Doll? Doll. Doll. Yeah. Doll. Yeah. Doll. <laughs> doll. The doll is out. The doll is yeah. out. Talk to us though. Early life. Place of birth. All right, so place of birth, Kingston, Jamaica, Jubilee Hospital, Jubilee, for baby. be specific. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're coming like the most people born this, I know, that, true that. Yeah, man, um, July 25th, 1986. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, to parents, Claudette Seville, Royal Seville. Claudette and Master Royal. Royal. Yeah. yeah. Um, Daddy passed on when I was seven. So, My you know, mo mommy took on the journey from there, and oh. she has been amazing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Um, well, so now went to St. Richard's Primary. Yeah. Then move on from St. Richard's to Woolmers High School for Girls. Right, girl. Then from, of course. <laughs> then from Woolmers High School to University of Technology, okay. where I got my degree in marketing and international business. And but I read somewhere where you say your degree is also of an events planning part on it. No? It's no, just what, marketing and Yeah, it's marketing. And you know, on the marketing business. we had to like Plan, like okay, I had planned okay. a celebrity auction when we get bound to be a lot of celebrities. Oh yeah. So yeah. Nice man. Yeah man, may I go on with myself? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk to me, you take me to schooling already. Right. And whilst we are in schooling, you also did some time at Edna. Oh yes, mm. yes, I did a year there. I did um, music. Music. And I started piano, but. Never did two hour code, so I'm just slow, but yeah, I did the vocal training. You did voice there. training there. Yeah. Nice. So let's go back a little before we move. Yeah. <laughs> Forward. <laughs> How many siblings? Um, well on mommy's side, it's three of us. Mm. I'm the youngest. Oh, and yeah. daddy's side, you know, daddy did a little more <laughs> bad and thing, you know. So him gets six away. Six. Yeah. I'm yeah. still the youngest. Oh, from that for both side. of them. Yeah. You Grew up with what just a three for, for mommy, yes. Oh, yes, and all your siblings are still alive, yeah, man. Thankfully, it's a blessing, man. yeah, man. Everybody go to LT, I do them thing, yes. Mommy is still around, of course. Mm. Big up, mommy, civil. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like though? Okay, so dad passed at age seven, yeah. What was it like growing up financially though? Um. Well, I we weren't suffering, we weren't mm. struggling, we were living the normal, what you don't call it, the normal, you know, nuclear family life, mm. you know, um, because both daddy and mommy were working. The food was on the table? Yes, mm. food was on the table, give God thanks, you know, but when daddy passed away, it was, you know, it became a bit difficult that mm. time, because, you know, one source of income yes, now, yes. mommy and having three kids and stuff like that, but, you know, she made it work. Should, as, 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 as a woman, as, tend yeah, to do. exactly. You yeah. know, she definitely made it work. All of us went to school. We never miss a meal or anything like that. You know, until we all became independent, doing our own thing. Yes. How at what age or stage though did you start feeling that you know some music pent up inside <laughs> of you that needs to be released though? 
All right. Well, I always had the passion and the love for it yeah. because my dad was a wonderful vocalist oh. and he was very good on the guitar. Guitarist. Yes. Mm. So, you know, I was around, I was around that energy. Oh, okay. You understand? Um, but then when I was in about high school, I realized that, okay, maybe I really want to do this professionally. Oh, okay. So when I said it to mommy, she was a bit hesitant about mm. it, but my older brother now he said you know what go for it oh, you know and he was the one who actually paid for me to go to Edna Manley oh. to do the vocal lessons and stuff so, like that. So uh, at what point did you attend Edna though during a UTEC time or prior to UTEC? No it was during UTEC time. During UTEC, so you yeah, were man. doing UTEC and doing and Edna? Then, yes yeah, so I would leave from UTEC then go to Edna oh, yeah? for vocal lessons. Yep. Yeah, they really wanted for children Of man. course. Ah. Yes, man. So even before Edna Doe, I mean, yes, you, you said you realize that from from Ulmer's days, this yeah, is man. something that you really like. Yeah, man. So like all the little concert them would have gone to Ulmer's, rain always. A okay, them time them did really love Lauren Hill. Ah. So you couldn't tell me, and because my name was Lauren, La my name Lorraine. is Lauren. Them would have all gone El Boogie. That was the nickname <laughs> in high school. Yeah. El Boogie. So trust me, you couldn't tell me someone was in Lauren Hill them time mm. there. So every time they had a school concert, I would sing a Lauren Hill song, you know, and then, yeah, man, I just followed through with it from there. Yes. What you actually left you take? Oh, well, me don't tell you. Yeah, 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 tell me about 86 long time. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it was about 2007. Oh, yes, seven. 2007. Right, but yeah. even before leaving UTEC now mm -hmm. and whilst attending Edna, in, in the, you entered the Rising Stars oh, in 2004. Yes, that was at Old Talk Mars. About, was, so you were at school, yeah, in high school at the time? Listen to me. I, and them think that we could have get in a trouble final, but me I tell you, when you <laughs> love something, you, know, you just love, love it. it. You understand? So what I'll never forget, I entered the competition, the Mandeville. Mandeville. Drive from Kingston, go, we are Mandeville. Oh, yeah? Yes, man. I got into the competition, and um, I got, I remember I was in the car, because it was a long line, you know, man. So me then at the car, I study and thing, and you know, while me I study, me I wait for my number be called and stuff like that, and... You know, I went, got through, first round, <laughs> then, <laughs> you know, and then after that, second round, you get cut, you know, so. You run up in Anthony. We, oh, my gosh. Oh, you know, so. You know, it's, things, you know, it's a dangerous brother that, you know, man. So, you know, that was the end of the Indeed road. Indeed with the rough. Yeah, indeed with my rough and thing, you know. And, and here or two, I did nervous. Oh, you were. I was excited the first time, did my thing the first time. All, all judges approved. Nadine, Anthony, and... Oh, my Who was gosh, it at the time? It wasn't uh, Clive? Him, same one. Mm. Yes. Um, all of them approved at the time, and then the second time around, or I don't know if I was exhausted because it was extremely long the second time mm. around. And plus, I was studying too, I had the exams and everything. So I didn't do my best, if I can be honest, yeah. the second time around. So it didn't work out. So that didn't make you feel disheartened or discouraged, though? Well, I mean, I was disappointed mm. in the moment, but that couldn't stop me. Couldn't clearly. Stop you. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, so. All four that was Rising Stars, yes. then you take Edna. <laughs> How do you think progress now with the, the the voice training and the piano lesson at, at Edna? How, how do you think all the journey continued from there? All right, as in from Edna into becoming right. Rain? Okay, so. All right, if, if there's anything between all four and, and Edna, Edna, then you can let me know, you know, feel it did. All right, well, um, I'd say vocally, mm -hmm. during that time, I was developing my vocals mm -hmm. because going to Edna Manley, um, big up to Myrna Haig, she was my vocal trainer. Okay. Um, she really stretched my vocals, you understand? Mm -hmm. She really made me realize, say, whoa, we can do some things with my vocals. And even the theory part I was learning, you know, it wasn't just, just about the practical oh, okay, okay. theory to have, like how to write the music and all of that. Oh. You understand? So um, it really developed my knowledge of music and it developed, it made me know more about me mm -hmm. and what I was capable of doing. You know, so yeah. You have some voice training on your belt, yeah. some writing development on your yeah. belt. Finish. <laughs> With your degree and congratulations on that, you know, because the music thing, you know, people dis discover it from early and sometimes the schooling part kind of. Yeah, them leave it yeah, behind. Man. So, congrats on that, man. Thank you. So, talk to us now about the musical progression 
after university? All right, so, um, you know what? It was just, it, it have to be God. Because, <laughs> guess what now? Graduate from UTEC with my degree and everything. No say music, Mwando, of course, but it's not like somebody did have the plan, say, all right? UTEC done, you know, may I go studio tomorrow? No, it, it just happened that I was on, I think, a Princeville Plaza. Mm. Sit down in a van, them time they may drive a CRV. Right? And me just it's my kind of vibe where I just sit in my vehicle for hours and me just oh, in there sing. Well a vibe, sing, DJ, you know, develop my craft. And it just so happened that I was in there singing and Sirani from that Seeker. It's, it's, it's heard it's me. Sirani. Yes. Um and this is right after I done you taking off. Oh yeah, I yeah. Jar, I just jar, That's why I'm saying after be God because far. it's a literally after. Like <laughs> I graduate say like the May or the June, and it's about the July, August. I meet Sirani, and he come to the van and say, you can sing? I say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he say, come to the studio, man. Come link me. Mm. You understand? With some tracks or, you know, demo, something. Let me hear what you got. And I say, OK, cool. And um, someone accompanied me. I asked for someone to accompany me around there and um Sirani heard the tracks, loved them and said, you know what? We need a first lady for the team. Mm. You know, we need a first so that lady time for it the team. So who was that? Yeah that man, time? it was all Craig males. Sirani. Craig Sirani David. David. They oh. make up that seeker. Okay. At the time they were working with Movado. Mm. Um Bounty. They I mean yeah, they were very involved in Bugle never in the camp yet. No. No. Um, <laughs> and um, Elaine was no longer around there oh, okay. at the time. She was with Don. With Don. Right, right, at the time. The person who I said follow me go around is actually him. Yeah, because uh, the night it was me and him on Princeville Plaza. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Connect, yes, yeah, yes, connect yes, the yes. dots, you know. But I remember you at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, man. so... I asked him to accompany me around there and thing and Sirani said, yeah man, why you be the first lady? And Sirani said, I wonder if I'm me for boss Bugle. I'ma say, yes, 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 yes. Yes, make Bugle a part of the team too. Yes. Them time they, you know, excited and everything and and so Bugle end up come in at the team too. Mm. And everything go from there. <laughs> yeah, love, yeah. you're thinking easy. You will think so that's it. Okay, you know, that, that became your home. Yes. Mm. How long did it take for you though to, to become an established recording artist? Um there? It, it, it took a while. Trust me. Some people look on lookers, they see it and feel like say yo. One, then two, then three, then I just saw it go mm. like back to back, first day, second day. But trust me, it majority of the times it's not like that. You have cases where it is, but in my case, it wasn't like that. So I met them, but at the time, I could not write. Okay. So I'm like, give me anything for sing, I can deliver it. it. But to write, I was not a writer. So Sirani said, hey, if you can't write, you're not going on a studio. So I said, Jesus, please, I had to sit through rain, one go in a studio. Yeah. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, couple songs, and I not feel them. Mm. You understand? And I want to tell you, say, one day, I carry him to the airport. And I said to him, on the way to the airport, I said to him, Sirani, you know, I think I have an idea, I don't know, you know, if you're going to like it. And I sing four line theme, and he said, hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You understand? And <coughs> me and him bill on it. Okay. And that is how I recorded my first single, Drive Me Crazy, Damn for them. Crazy. That was my very, very, very first. Trust me, when I listen it back now, I said, boy, I could have done some work on the vocals. Cringy yeah. like. We yeah, know yeah, 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 you know, your first, first, <laughs> yeah, first in studio project, man. But you have to start somewhere. Of course. You, start you know, and somewhere. I'm very grateful, and I'll never forget Sirani. No matter if me and them no work, no matter me not forget Sirani, because Sirani start out rain. Mm. You understand? And um, it went from there, and that didn't happen till probably like five, six months after meeting them. So you, you met Sirani about 08? No, man, I met him in, in 07. In 07? No, oh, oh 08. It was. And your first song, 09? 08. Oh, it coming like you know my story more than me. The school man. Yes, <laughs> yes, you're you're very correct. Yeah. So it was 08, and then 
Yeah, the first recording was 09. Or the first crazy. release. Yes. How did that do though? What, what kind of reception <clears throat> that got? Back um, then? well, you know what? You know, you just start out the journey, your friends, them, everybody happy for you, excited for yeah. you. Um, I'll never forget ZJ Liquid was the one who premiered it. Mm. And um, that feeling was the greatest feeling in the world. Like, I say, yes, God, I'm do it. Mm. You understand? And um, I mean, it wasn't a hit, but I would go on school tours and perform it, and the kids would know it. Right. You know, so. It was a start. It, it was, was a start. starting point, yes. yes. So after the start now, what came next? All right, this is where I'm going to start work with like Chimney Records now. Oh, okay. I think I'm probably the first person for record, um, probably the first or second artist for record for Chimney Yeah. Records, yes. Because Sirani took me around there. Jordan, um, Sirani said, work with her, you know, do some work with her and thing. Because that time his career was just taking right. off. Right as an artist, you know, so I said to them, yo, I want to take her and do some work with her. And, you know, I started doing belly wine. I don't know if you know that oh, one. Belly wine. Oh, wine. Oh, and touch and <laughs> yeah, mom, go so on you did that for Jordan? Yeah, man, that was oh. Chimney Records production. And then I did Slip Row and Wet, which is Left Side's production. Oh, okay. And then the journey went from there, you know, voicing yes. for TJ Records, for ZJ Chrome, for Birch. With Carter, oh, mentally insane. Mentally insane. Was Chimney Records song. Chimney too, as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. And that came out after Belly Wine and Slipper Yeah, man, that, that, that came out after Slipper Went yeah. Wet. Yeah. How, how that, 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 that synergy <coughs> they come out though with, 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 with Addy? Um, through Chimney Records. Through Chimney. Yeah, because I was doing my recordings around there. Mm -hmm. I was doing most of my recordings around there. So um, Jordan started playing that ready man thing. And, you must say, Rain, you know, and do a song with Carter. I must say, well, what, 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 what <laughs> is that a trick question, question yeah, or something? Yeah. You know, and I saw a start vibe, the hook, and mentally insane, don't fuck with us in a mega day. You know, I decide to bring out the bad, black rain and black time. Rain. Then. Yeah, and we'll carry it to Cartel. Cartel loved it and did his verses on it. Big tune, man. Big tune. <laughs> Which one of the songs that you have mentioned was the first song where really and truly started creating a buzz around, around your name, though? Um, I would honestly have to say what, mentally insane. Mentally insane. Mentally insane. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Cartel's teacher, fan... Right. Yeah, his fan base is ridiculous. <laughs> you understand? So, like, ridiculous. You have yeah. some of the most loyal fans ever. So, he exposed me to his crowd. Mm -hmm. You understand? So everywhere people would see me, them say, Rain, the song that with Carter. And you know, men tend to love a girl with pretty but bad. You bad know, and so bougie. bad and bougie, right. Yeah, well. So, you know, they like that. And girls like to feel away the too. You know, so we're pretty but don't mess with us, you know? So I'd say. So Mentally Insane was the first track where really and truly <coughs> brought it to the masses. Yeah, man, definitely. And then you had done Belly Wine and no, Slipper be when Belly Wine was before. Right. Yeah, which I had the video out and everything. Mm -hmm. But when I did the mental insane, that built my exposure more. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then I did slip when wet and, shh. you know, people love the whole concept because may I use my name? Rain. Yeah, for write that song. May I said, be careful when you're driving on this road because it's slip when wet. This rain will make you lose control. So people like that whole concept and then the video just complement it even more. Very sensual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it was... But, so, you know, but funny enough, it played a lot on the radio, you know. No, the, oh, the video we had to have. Oh, the, the video. The, oh, yeah, okay, the okay, video, okay, okay, yeah. Mm, so you had bona fide songs on the radio you now, in the street, yes. and the name of Girl, the name of Bill. Yes. Were you still formally a part of the Seca at that time? Yeah, man, I was, but to be honest... Sirani's career took so he off. Was, in this, he, yeah, his he was voicing a lot at that yeah, time. Yeah, so the, the attention where he probably would have wanted or he initially planned on giving mm. me, I did not get it because his career took off. And understand enough, yeah, enough, understandably, he's going to run with yes. you know whatever opportunity mm. he gets. So at this point in time, I was just going around doing my thing. Come here, say, my career at the end of the day. Right. You understand? So I was just recording for various people and doing my videos and stuff like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this was about, oh... It's an 09. 09. 09 going into 010. 010. Yes. Um, you got pregnant 010? Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, so I'm not for do that interview. I know everything. Yeah, so that I am assuming now would have slowed down the musical trajectory. The, 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 yes, the momentum. momentum. Mm. Yes, it did. it did, but it did not. You know, I say I, I say it did not because. I was still doing school still, tours. Oh, okay. No one knew I was pregnant because I ke I deliberately kept it quiet. Okay. Um, so I was still doing school tours. I was still doing some fests. I was still doing. We well, did some fests in 2010. Yes. Okay. With men in. No man, go ahead. In, in, <laughs> yes, I did some fest in my full black. Them time their belly did start show a little bit uh. now. So I had on full black and thing. Do my performance and. I think that's when it was revealed that I'm you possibly pre pregnant. pregnant, yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, say after I have the baby now, I had that, I definitely had to take, take a, break a break there. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I took a break. I had her in October. And then um, my first appearance, appearance after that was the Youth View Awards, mm -hmm. which was in February. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Leila Ray. Yes. Beautiful young lady. The, the beautiful Layla Ray. <laughs> the, the, the little Miss Diva, the young yeah. Dolly. Yeah, you know? so, so we'll talk about Layla a little bit down, down the road. Right. So, how long did it actually take? You know, I know that you see attended Youth View Award, but right. how long after the birth of your daughter did it actually take you to be back on the road in the studio again? Full voicing? force. Um, <coughs> when she was about eight months. Mm. Eight months, you know. Um, I have to give thanks to my mother because she really chipped in that time. Okay. And she knows I love the music, you understand? And she knows I'm a put in work and she never want me to drop, lose, right, you right, know, lose right, all right. of that. So she said, All right, I'll take care of the baby. You're going, you, you go to your studio, you go and do whatever gigs you get, you go and do your videos, then you come back home, come be a mother. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> so mommy played an important role. She definitely did. Yeah. You, mommy. But still back on the musical <coughs> journey, the musical hunt. Definitely. In, in 2010, before I forget, I think that was the year that Haiti suffered that massive earthquake. Mm. And you launched a foundation, a charity. A charity, touch, one, one touch one charity, touch. yes. Yeah? Uh, my best friend and I, it was really her idea, Sophronia. She said to me, Rain, I think we need to do a charity, you know, and because you're the public figure, I'd want mm. you to like be the, be the face, face of it. And I said, sure, anything, because I was always brought up to give back, mm. you know. Um, so we decided to take that initiative. We gave to um, Mustard Seed, we, various homes. Oh, okay. You know, we would just collect stuff, food, clothing. Um, anything, we'll go visit the homes, you know, spend a little time with them and give them. Very noble gesture, man. The items. So the, the, the foundation is still active? No, to be honest, it hasn't been active for a while now because she actually migrated. Oh, okay. You know, and um, as I said, it was really her idea. She was a brainchild. Right, behind it. Behind it mm. So we didn't really continue it. Okay, but it was a very good initiative yes. while it lasted. Yes, yes. And yes. I mean, one of them not call it up, yeah? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so now, back on the musical street, right. what next? What, all right, so what was that one thing that happened with kind of give you back that feel, say, yes, me are moving in the right direction? Um, re recording for Chrome, I had mm. a song named Listen. Listen. If you will listen, listen to the voices of the angels calling you. Um, that song was doing very well. I was doing a lot of school tours with that song. You know, I was getting a lot of like corporate bookings okay. with that song. So that that really built back the vibe for me and thing because that happened after having Layla. And I put box on fire and then put yeah, it did. Start bubble again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And then this is when my style voice to like Birch and you know some other known producers yes. like that, you know, spreading the wings. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I know <laughs> I wonder why I laugh. I know I think about in 2012, 2013 there was a, the situation with you and the father of your daughter kind of came to a, a head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, to be honest, we actually broke up a 
shortly after she was born. Oh. But we did not make it public. I didn't want that to as be public. As it shouldn't be. Right. I didn't right. want that to be public. More people focus on my work. It wasn't about Lorraine. Right. Personal life. So um, we broke up when she was about 10 months. Mm. And um, I just, you know, he moved on. At, well, <laughs> we moved <laughs> um, I moved on and things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then, you know, um, in 2013, no, I'm thinking, well, you really want to right. ask me about our, the, the song well, we do with Conscience. Conscience, yes. right. Second album. Yes, mm. that you want to ask me about. <laughs> so, I did the recording. It was for Dre Day. Oh, Dre Day, okay. Dre yeah, man, Day. I know Dre Day, man. Yes. Um, I, I want to let's say an unconscious birthday to, you know, we, the two of us just happened to be at the studio the same okay. night. And him said to me, Rain, come and do a song. I'm say, all right, cool. And Dre played the rhythm. And for the whole, we were literally at the studio for about six, seven hours doing the song. Mm. You understand? And then um, we decided that, okay, we don't just want to release the song. You know, we want to do some marketing. I, you know, I have my degree in marketing. <laughs> so I'm like, listen, let's do some marketing and promotion, get the people talking and stuff. And boy, so, did they talk. Oh, did they talk? <laughs> Talk, talk, talk. A lot, of, man, talk, a yeah. lot of talking. I don't know how it burns some of them. So I don't know, know what was the problem. Yeah. I have a nice, brown, sexy girl. Mm -hmm. Conscience is a hot boy. We have a song together. We have a young fan base. Mm -hmm. And we just decide to do something nice and interesting. You understand? But um, at the time, I think a lot of people didn't know that my the daughter's fault. Right. right. It had ended all of two years prior. You understand? So maybe that is what some people are wondering, you know? Mm. But in, oh, so if you do that. Yeah. You understand? So when I came out and made the situation known now, you know, of course, I guess people who never liked me still had something to say, mm. still had a problem with it. And then me actually get a lot of fun. people love mix up me. Bad. People love me. <laughs> Yo, me say, when me say my fan base grew after that, Great, 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 grow. But then, of course, you know, some other controversy right. was behind it, some negative one. And me and Conscience, in all honesty, we didn't want that. Right. That okay. was not what we were looking for. And that was the reason we didn't actually do an official video, video. for mm. the song. Because we had everything planned. Okay. Scorpio 21 was going to direct it. We had the concept, everything in plan. And based on certain negative energy, we say, you know what? Make we love that. Yeah. So I'm going to so now I move on. I use the energy, the traction I get. And do my song now. See the body here when make man comfortable. No lame boy when, when not comfortable. comfortable. From me get a touch. <laughs> yeah. And that, them. that, right, that song took off now. Yes. And I say, yes. Thank you, Jesus. I get one in now. These are, these are the song where I can say officially like. Solidified your Solid, face. Yeah. Mm. I can definitely, because trust me, any stage me go up and I Drop that. see the body, yeah, me just can't come so. Uh, everybody I sing. You understand? The sum face, the all of the show them. Uh, the stick, all of the shows them. All of the school tours them. You see the little pit in them. Yes. I sing. A lot of um, people overseas too were doing that. You know the dance right. videos, they tend to, a lot of that is on YouTube. Like when I saw some of them, I said, this, whoa. So, you know, that song really propelled yeah. me. Could, could uh, the situation, <laughs> ask me, the people ask were me. at the time saying that that was <clears throat> a counteraction to Bugles, not compatible. Mm -hmm. And you said something in your song, <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. use the word, boy, we're not compatible. <laughs> so naturally, yeah. people would look on and say, Bugle song, re counteract the song because Ray Ray Ray. Yeah. Was that the situation? I wouldn't say it was a counteraction, it's just a little. You know, like when you, you, you talk about somebody and you just drop in a little shade. Oh, so a it was a little sh shade. Drop in a little one liner. Yes. It was that. But it was really a girl's anthem. You know, me have the second on body. And it was really a follow up from the song with conscience. Because okay. the song with conscience is titled Sickle Dong. Right, so me follow it up now with second on body, but when me in the studio, them say, Rain, drop in the one line. Yeah. I say, oh, you know, I'm going to work with it. And 
of course, people are going to say, wash oh, the unsigned box, so they run with it and they make them run with it. I mean, it only a carry forward. Exactly, exactly. But there was no malice in that song. It was just you just... On my part, there was no malice. Mm. Me just had to, listen, I just did a focus on my career. And that's it. Why would you yes. why would you say? Yes. That's a beautiful song though. Thank you. It's one of my fav favorite songs. That song's one per when I listen to the song, I have a personal sound, vibe, energy around it. Um yes, but not only personal to me. Oh, okay. Because Craig from Voicemail was actually the person who wrote that song. Oh. Yes. Okay. He wrote that song. Um and I guess because I was going through my personal thing at the time, I was able to deliver Pour the song. Pour yourself another song. Yes. Right. That's a big song. Right? Yeah. That's a big song. It's you. true. I love that song. I love the V. I don't know if you ever seen yeah, man, the I, I video it, with Layla in it and thing, but um, even now you're talking about that song, then it's like more and cry. I love that song. I don't want you to cry. I want you to give a couple of lines all the time. Um... <clears throat> Why would you say you love me if you know you weren't gonna stay with me? I ain't got no more time to spare cause you're no longer here. So why would you say you love me if you know you weren't gonna stay? Ma. Yeah. Beautiful song. Thank you. Yeah, the ladies ever got crucified me if me not ask for give me a couple lines more outer mad them. Oh, of course. <laughs> Tell them, see the body I wear make man comfortable. No lame boy when not comfortable. For me get a touch of for the second out. I like any mammy no say you have to second round of applause. Tap for the body, yeah. Traffic block, stop for the body, yeah. But the girl with the second down body, oh no, no. I know any man touch a body, yeah. Me, me, me have the second down body. <gasps> me, 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 I go mad them with it. Me, me, me have the second down body, did they? Yeah. Yeah, that could be true. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, because your, your song, Why Would You, and Listen, and Mad Them is a more DJ vibe. Yes. Which one of them energy they prefer, though? Which one of the, 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 that aspect of the music? you're most comfortable with? Definitely singing. Singing. Definitely. That's what I started out doing. The, the sing J thing actually, or the DJ thing actually mm. kick. Madam, I probably my first DJ, DJ song, you know, come to think mm. of it. Yeah, man. All right. So there's a song that you have done. And I recently, met, while preparing for the interview, I discovered the song. Mm -hmm. And you're DJing the song. Which song? Bad and Bougie. Yeah. And my, and my rain song that. Okay. Bad, bad song. Bad, bad when you listen to your song, you sound like, you know them bad man <laughs> DJ. I like that. Thank you. So that's why I'm asking you, which one you're more comfortable with? So I'm more comfortable with the singing, singing. but I have really grown to love the DJ, Sing mm. J5. Yeah, man. So, Want It Rough, Bad and Bougie, and Pretty Little Browning. Yeah. Them three songs that DJ DJ and them three songs. Yes. And no man, want it rough. Want well, it rough? I'd more say sing I'd more say sing J, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Bad and Boji, as me so I'm listen to the song. So I'm like going cross DJ. Yeah. Ride or dummy do my duty. Now but I get fooled by the beauty. When my woman get ride on the sushi, come on bad and my bougie. Yeah. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> want it rough. Yes. Is that another song that kind of <clears throat> get some traction in the street? Yes. Um, that song I did pro oh, during the whole COVID time. Mm. During the whole COVID. But I'm not ready for, for talk about but that. Part, yeah, yeah. I'm not ready. Because that's uh, during right. COVID time. In, so, yeah. No, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right. So after Mad Them Now and the Why Would You Now, mm. after that come Pepsi contract. Pepsi, 2015. Yes. You know, um... Which I think that come the right time because I had songs now where I could stand on my own. Uh, so you became yeah, a the, Pepsi brand ambassador. Yes, I got the contract with Pepsi and um, we did... You're on the Refresh Tour as well. Yeah, the Refresh Tour. You know, we did a couple of shows, about three to four shows, and mm. then we closed off at Sumfest. Okay. That's uh, one of the best times in my career. Yeah? Yeah, because for represent a brand like Pepsi, that's a good... How, how, how you end up running that part of the door? What, with Pepsi? Yeah. 
Um, well, Headline at the time was doing my bookings. Oh, Headline, okay. Right, and Pepsi was planning their tour and everything. So they contacted Headline and said, you know, we want rain on the tour. Mm. And, you know, um, discuss business, money, and all these things. And then it went from there. And I did make use of it. Because one, one minute the ear blue. Blue. And one next red, minute the ear red. red. Mm. Next minute it blue. I've and seen so many things. Man. Listen, I went all, I represented Pepsi. And you know, I had a great time on those shows. Yes, I think now in 2016, you were also the face of the, the Ministry of Health. Zik V. Zika campaign. Yeah. Oh, you end up running that part there again. De Listen, Madem, may I tell you, Madem opened a lot of doors. Mm. You understand? And it really showed me, say, for true, when you have sung, because to me, I still don't reach where I want to reach, you know. I still, still have a lot of work to do, I still yes. have a lot to accomplish. But Mad them really showed me that, listen, when you have the song, the doors them can really open. So Ministry liked that song actually and they contacted oh, yeah? <laughs> you better believe it because when they met me, they're like, Miss Second on Body Rate. I'm like, ooh, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Yes, man. And they said, you know, the kids love you, you know, and, you know, you have that high school following and thing. And those are the, right, the, the people. Target that, audience. Right, that was the target audience. So they asked me to do it. And I said, sure. And I wrote the jingle. Mm. I wrote the jingle. They approved it. We did the filming for it. And, you know, it was playing all over. Nice, man. Yeah, man. Nice. Slippery when wet. Yeah. That video received one award on one part. Correct? Yes, it was New York, an award show in New York. I honestly don't remember the name, Yeah. but it was in New York and it got best video. Nice, man. Yes. But the video they normally shot for choose still. Like, yeah. all the videos that I've seen of you yes. are very professionally done, clean and nice and Trust stuff. Trust me, the, the money we spend for them, I talk <laughs> like half a million and up. Yeah? Yeah. To shoot and edit and we stuff. And edit. And them money them. I don't know. We need to start shooting some video I don't know. Fifty thousand dollar video. <laughs> video yeah. No disrespect to yeah, nobody I because I've me me have them yeah, the video that you know. But you spend your money you know. forget the right. value for it. Exactly. Nothing no wrong with that something there. Yeah. Mm. But you've been under some things about your rain, man. Yes, man. You've been a fall. <laughs> <laughs> of course. For in some a good, good old stuff. In a good ride. Yeah, yeah, the good, the good fall. And I walk to some garden and all of them something, man. That is it. Throw in some stream and thing. Yes, man, and you know, um, even couple tours and stuff like that. Um, I started working with Island Jams. They're based in Atlanta. Island Jams is 2016. 16, yes. Mm -hmm. So this is right after the whole Pepsi thing now. Um, they saw that uh -huh. and they reached out to me. So it's like everything just didn't happen, you know, and. I think there's a flow. Flow, right. And um, I started working with them, did shows in Atlanta, Washington, Philly. New York, all over the place. You know, that was a good, a good run. Oh, so you're no longer with Island no, Jams? No, no. That contract ended after two years. After two years, yeah, okay. Yeah, and we didn't renew the contract because, you know, they're doing something different now. Oh, okay. But it's cool. no, no bad energy or anything. Uh, they're just doing different things now. Very ab amicable split. Yeah, man. Mm. Definitely. So, any management now or... You um, are an independent lady. Right. At the, at the moment, I'm independent. Mm. But, you know, it's always good to have an investor, to have somebody, the team. Right. It's all, it, always good. It's always definitely important. That's needed, important. Especially for a female. Right. It's very important. So, um, But until that comes, you know, I'm, yes. I'm doing my thing independently. Mm. Alton Ellis, Willow Tree. <laughs> yes. You also did a did cover, that cover of that. Yeah. yeah. You decided to, or it was management to? Um, at the time, I never had management, you know, when oh, okay. I did that song. Because um, I did that in 2013 or 20, 2014. Right. <clears throat> at the time, I was working with, I was mainly around Truckback Studio. Yes. Lock, Lock the City Truckback Studio. And um, Adrian from Lock the City. From Truckback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said to me, um, I think you should do this cover. You know, it's nice to have not just the young audience, but to have, you know, a the elder. Yeah, audience and as well. it, it, he was right. He was very right because I could go to like the, the gala, the Jamaica, the Grand right. Gala, and, and, and perform those songs. You understand? Um, so it, it really worked out. Mm. As females, 
do interviews and speak about their journey in the music you normally hear some dopey stories sometimes some people yeah. have it very rough some yeah. people have some bad experiences yes how has it been for you though trying to establish yourself in this male dominated industry um it hasn't been smooth mm. you know some people might see it on the outside and feel like okay she always nice looking she always this she living comfortable then it's smooth it hasn't been smooth because um I would have wanted to be further, if I could be honest with myself. I would have wanted to be further than where I am now. But, you know, a lot of barriers. You yeah, get fight. Sometimes you yeah, get fight from some people where you help and support. Mm -hmm. You understand? Sometimes people you don't have nothing with a fight here. Where you show love to or you look up to. They might try to take care of a show. They might try to take care of a campaign. Oh, yeah? They might try to stop a book. Yeah, man, it's it, it rough. I got through it, man. But I am not the type that come out and come retaliate and mm -hmm. talk. I am not that type of person. You understand? So it, it has been rough, but I still give thanks for, you know, the, the achievements that mommy get out of it. Awesome. Yeah, man. You're looking well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that, that? You also did... A medley, I think it's a remix of Cartel, Buck Up Enough. <laughs> yes. Yes. That time I was in my freestyle phase. Freestyle phase. Yeah, because I notice a lot of freestyle. You have to pay attention to the business, you know, right. and that is what I do. Um, a lot of freestyles were happening during that time period. So Rain Civil jump on the, you know, the freestyle energy too. And of course, Cartel is the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so, do have a good energy, look like good, Yeah, um, good I, I, I have great respect for him. Mm. You know, he's extremely talented. Um, in that for true. Yeah. You so can't yeah, take that I from can't, him. Exactly. Mm. Regardless of anything Whatever else, else, you can't take that from talent, him. Talent, you can't take true. it. Supremely so. Right. So, mm. um, that song was hot at the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Buck up so, Yeah, so I just <laughs> decided to do a freestyle on it and... <clears throat> Sorry, a friend of mine said, um, Rain, if you shoot a little visual for it, man. Right. You know, so, it's, so I end up going down by McGregor Gully. Oh, McGregor Gully? Yeah, the okay. same friend, he lives that side. So I say, shoot it, I'm just call one of my camera friends. This, this is one I $50,000 video. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you know, we just call him and say, oh, the budget not big, but mm -hmm. just come shoot a little thing for me. It's a freestyle, it's not an official song. And a lot of people liked that yeah. freestyle. Touch. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's light up when we said touch. Yeah. <laughs> big true that I get a road. Yes. Yes. Um, <clears throat> it could have been bigger if you ever asked me. Why isn't it? Wasn't it? Um, I don't know if it is big. Island Jams produced that one. Okay, right. So I'm not sure if because they were new to the market, they, oh. they probably didn't get the leverage as opposed to seasoned. You know, so um, that is, but we did the video, we did the promo, burn up the CDs, then we go, we do the interviews, we did everything, you know, and, you know, that is that. But um, I love that song and I love that video, you know, and when I perform it in like overseas, mm -hmm. it, you know, the reception from it was really good. Really, really good. Sweet escape. <laughs> yes. You're supposed to be my sweet escape. Um, so that is about me giving bun. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know. I, oh, I go, yes, man. Me giving bun because the man on the side of the sweet escape. Mm. Yes. Um, I may say I'm confused because I love the main man, <laughs> but the side man I have a vibe. <laughs> so right now I'm confused. I don't know what to do. do. Yeah. And then the side man, he might get too attached now. So I have to say, Papa. Remember, I have my main man and all these things, you know? <laughs> so, but they don't know all out there. Yeah, um, big up to Yard Style Entertainment. JJ Weasel, he mm, produced that one. Yeah. Video again and thing and thing and Yes, thing man, and thing. video. Listen, I, I like that, I really like this interview. I want to check out every song I'm asking about. Mm. If you're not familiar with them, just check them out on my Vivo channel, Rain Civil Vivo. Yes. Yeah. That's a part of why we do this. So the people know what no. I'm going on. Yeah, man. Because like, you've been putting in the work. Of course. And as you said, and, and I respect that you said, you're not as far as you would have wanted to be. Right. And um, we can appreciate the honesty. Of course. Yeah, but you're still young and vibrant and yes. still talented. and <laughs> Sweet Escape. That, and mm. I remember, I think I read or saw something where that was launched at... Tracks uh, and Records. Yes. And Gary... 
endorse yes. the thing by creating a sweet escape drink up there, one of the part there. Yes, man. Shout out to Gary Matalan. Um, I approached him and, you know, because I realized that he was following me on Instagram. Oh, okay. So I actually reached out to him via Instagram asking if, you know, if it was possible to meet, have a meeting with him. He said, yes. I went to Tracks and Records. We had the meeting. I'm like, listen, I have a new song. I recently did the video. Is it possible to do the launch here? Mm. And he was, so, listen. Yeah, he was, a businessman. Yeah, so Gear was like, that. yeah, man, Ray, and I want to, yeah, man, of course. You tell me the day and, you know, all of that. And we'll get the promo out there and everything. And, you know, he was very, very instrumental in that um, launch. And I'm so grateful for that. And the turnout was amazing. Yeah. All the media houses were there, you know. And um, then the Sweet Escape drink now. Um, I came up with that idea. I'm like, oh, I want to have... Oh, you conceptualized Yeah, that. man. I said, I think I, that would be a nice name for a drink. Mm. So I approached him with that idea to one. Of course, he was like, yes, Rain, no problem. So um, a, bar, a friend of mine who does, what do you call him? Mix, mixologist. Mixologist, mm. Sheldon. He created it for me and the rest is history. Mm. So you're just, you're still up there? Of course. Okay. Of course. I'm going to go across. I mean, if you ask. Yeah, man. Ask for your sweet escape. Yes. <laughs> Rain, you, as a female artist, you said that, you know, there have been struggles, but you have landed collaborations with some of the some giants prominent. both here. Yeah. Yes, Sizzler. yes, yes. Oh, yes. I think that song is called Forever. Forever. That is, okay, I love singing, man. Mm. So you notice when you ask me about the singing song, they more get, light up. Me get emotional. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I really love the singing songs. And that is, I was around truck back studio again. Adrian again. Yes, Adrian again. Sizzla was around there doing some work. And I walked in. Sizzla didn't, wasn't familiar with me at the time. Mm. So Adrian said, this is Rain Civil, she's a singer, you know, the introduction was done there. And it's just a vibe, as usual, you're there studio, you will a vibe. Adrian played the rhythm, Sizzler start vibe right. on the rhythm, mm -hmm. and him come out and say, all right, you're a singer, prove yourself, say I want a singer. Just like that. Just like that. And I went in and I did, you know, love me, keep me forever. And... That's how it's happening. Yes. <laughs> and that song is on my EP. I, I had an EP in 2019. Yeah. Uh, I, I named it Iconic. Iconic. Yes. Oh, probably see that some of it true, you know. Yeah, man. I named it <laughs> Iconic because it was my first EP. Mm -hmm. My daughter was on it. Yeah. Um, it came out on my record label, Civil Records. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Big up yourself, girl. Yes, man. May I use up the market? You see what the marketing skills are? Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, school for farm food, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. So, um, that's why I decided to name it iconic because it was, you know, it's iconic to, to me. me. Mm. Yes, cheating games, <laughs> yeah, with the gangs of alive, yeah, Mavado, yes, uh, that came before Sizzler's song, yeah, man. Yeah. Sizzler's song was 20. 18. 2018. Yeah, man, but it came out on my, it was released on my EP, EP in 2019. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk about mental insane already. Right. With Carter, we talk about second one with conscience. Right. Um, Beanie Man. Yes. Two. Two collaborations. Kaki and, and. You choose. You choose. Yes. Kaki and you <laughs> they, choose. All right, they, in this period, I was around truck back. Okay. So a lot of the productions were uh, truck okay. back. Okay. You did a yeah. lot of things around my yeah, man. Adrian, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I did a lot. That, at that time, I would say that was my home. Home, oh, okay. Right. Um, so um, Beanie was working around there too, a lot of the time. And this is after the whole mad day. The recordings just happened, you know, he was recording. Um, you choose. You choose. Same vibe again. Everybody there stood there, do them thing. And, you know, him come up with his verses and I came in with the chorus. Mm. And the same thing with the khaki, khaki. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah and Aisha and also have same boy. Yeah, that was the, <laughs> yo, that was the early stages of the career. The early, Man, right. who the early stage, left side producer one. Oh, he did side. that. He did that shortly after I did um, Slip Away With. Oh, okay. For him, you know, mm. and um, originally it was another female on the song, you know. It was me and another female. Oh, okay. She lived overseas and stuff, so she didn't really... Something happened and she didn't complete her vocals on it. So it's something I end up got to the left side now and say, you know, I feel like I shan't have a bad feeling. Right. 
you understand? And him reach out to her and thing, and she did it. Uh, you and Lisa Hyper also have. It was a remix. He, um, yes. Was it? Yes, it called Chat. Chat. Mm. Yes, because I wrote that song because during that time people had a lot of things saying. <laughs> yeah. So, I said, eh, yeah, sorry, and art. <laughs> So I said, boy, they must say them not like rain, them can't bother with. That's what I said in the intro, you know. Me can't stand, I mean, do the intro to you, know. Okay. I said, the one rain, he said, me can't stand, or he said, and all kind of something. And I'm like, okay, I'm just turn the negative energy into something it's positive. positive. Mm -hmm. And um, because Lisa had her share right. of, of controversy, I felt like she was ideal. Mm, to be on the track. That's a process and I think, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, listen, I'm very calculated. I'm very strategic. You know, and so I know what I want. I envision it and I get it done. So like a party, it lasts a four type of girl. Yeah, you know? yes. You read that book? Kind, of course. Because and then the, the Art of War. Art of War. Shan Tzu. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. So we reach out to her and she say yes, Rain, and she do our verse. And we'll do a little video of a poor more where she's from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we'll go perform. <laughs> We're gonna perform it on our award show, I must say. I don't did you see that? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Maybe we need to talk about it then. Why well, never record so well? No man, we'll perform it at her uh, because at the time she and another female had a little okay. vibe going on. <laughs> we not call no name. But he uh, we're not supposed to can know which yes. he, he right. So then so we did a tr and it's not spice me at all. Mm. Not spice. Spice fans, please don't come for me. And a she may attack. And um you know, the female artist was there at the time, so Lisa going pan her and thing with the performance and you know everybody I say we young up. Huh? Yeah, and it, not like that. It wasn't that well for me. Right, for you. <laughs> it wasn't like that at all, you know. We just did that do a thing. Yeah. I just said that uh, has there been any situation where you and any female <clears throat> and the business ever a local musical exchange? Mm -hmm. Not that mean one, <laughs> not from my side. Yeah. Not from my side. If is if that's the case with another female, me unaware. I'm very mm. much unaware of it. You know, but at the same time, I don't get along with every single female. Right. I don't come here and act like me and every female are friend. That's not the case. Mm. Yeah, and was also have sung. Was is my very good friend. Yeah. Big of myself in a was. Yeah. You make this up, you know. Yeah, it's true. Because, yeah, well, you know, I it, I well, I mean, I was always following your thing. Mm, you you understand? But he, he was the one that really I'm sealed, sealed the up. link. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Not, now go on is his song featuring me. Mm, that right. Seika produced that one. That Seika. Yeah. You have scored collabs with, with, with some the prominent big people. Big names in other business. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give God thanks. Give God thanks. You know, it's a blessing. and. You know, them expose me to their fan base, so it's a great thing. That said, though, is there anybody who you haven't worked with collaboratively who you don't mind do something with in the studio? Does it have to be local? No, nah, man, anybody, man. But local would be good too, because they might watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say Popcorn. Poppy. I think he mm. is, his, his catalog is amazing. Um, I like the fact that he does not stray from himself, not because, and I'm not knocking anybody. The like the chops, the mm. chopper song, them is what you know run the place right now. And what? I like the fact that he doesn't stray from who he is. Him not jump go do a chopper mm -hmm. song or, you know. And him, I guess him have respect for them. I have respect for them, but that's not his right. vibe. Him stick to him truth, and I like that his catalog is amazing. You know, so definitely popcorn. Mm. Um, internationally, the one and only Queen Beyonce. Mm. Sasha? Yeah, Miss Sasha Fierce. Listen, you see, anytime, this is my little secret. You see, right before I'm going to perform, I'm going to watch Beer Beyonce video. Mm. I absolutely love her. I think, I like how humble she, because I think I am like that. Like, I'm very calm off stage. But when I go on stage, it's like I'm transform, and that is how she is. So mm. uh, definitely Beyonce. Nice, nice. Uh, you have been, because you started like professionally, 09, mm -hmm. uh, over a decade now. Yeah. Putting in the work. Yes. And while you are not where you think you should be, I, yes, where I'd want you're to still be. putting in the work. Of course. You're still in love with the then, music? Of course. Mm. I mean, there are times when I'm not in love with the industry oh. because the industry is very, if we're going to be honest, the industry can be very corrupt. The industry can be very political. 
you understand? Um, but the music itself, I'm always in love with that and nothing can change that. Nothing? Nothing at all can change that. We're talking about collaborations just now. You and your daughter, you and your daughter oh, have yeah. done. Um, <laughs> Big Up Jamaica. Big artist, and you know. And there's another one. It's Accusation? Is that? I don't remember. Ambition. The Ambition. I know yes. it was some. Ambition. Ambition. So <laughs> Ambition and... Big up Jamaica. Um, big up Jamaica, yes. Yeah. We have a couple of freestyles still in our, but those are the, the two official. official ones, yeah. She love the music or she just follow mommy and daddy? <clears throat> she love it. She love it. She love, remember so when me pregnant, me deaf on stage just sing, you know. I did it though. So it, in a, yeah, you know, yeah. she she feel it from them times, school tour, some face, everything I do while I'm pregnant. You know, so she genuinely loves it. Mm. You know, um, so when, when it was easy to get her to do those stuff, you know, and she did, because even with ambition, like uh, in my vehicle, again, I drive, I write freestyle that whole vibe, pick her up from school literally the same day and say, Layla, hear the idea. I sing it like one time and she catch, and she it. catch it. Catch it. Oh, yeah? I do the little video clip with her same time and they're all over the place. And that's how I decided to do an official video for it. Mm, nice one. Then Big Up Jamaica now, that's an educational one because I want to know about right. where she come from. You understand? For know about Usain Bolt, Shelly and Fraser, the, the colors, what the colors of the flag mm, mean. The food. Um, yeah, the food. That in it you know, well. the music, mm. all of those stuff. So it, I was teaching her in a musical form. Mm. You understand? And, that too, even when we did the little video, you know, my vehicle again, I sit down and we do it. And the way I see that go viral, and I'm like, whoa. Jamaicans love child stars, you know? Yes. That thing from way back till now. Yeah, and it, it really opened a lot of doors for her because she started. And she's truly talented, too. It's not that because right. she's a bugle daughter or a range daughter. She, yeah. She's she talented yeah, by man, her own. She, she's naturally talented. I don't know if you even see clips of her playing the no, keyboard. No, I'm not that yet. Yeah, but she she played okay. the keyboard, she played the guitar, and these are she's home. She's self-taught. Mm. I never carry her go on one vocal class yet. I never carry her go piano lessons. Natural not talent. Natural. She just all right. You just play something now. She listen to it and she just start playing on the keyboard. Oh yeah. Yes. She's amazing like that. But I, I pause her from it because Pep. She recently okay. did Pep. Mm. You know, and so the focus, the primary focus is school. What's school? My pause are from. How it. music mommy going? Like, how is it, you know, balancing the music and, and mom? Right. It rough. Mm. <laughs> it rough. A lot of people say to me, you make it look so easy. I know, thank you, but it rough. You know, because um, even when I used to have to travel a lot. Mm. Um, when she was younger, it, I, I, there were times when I, feel, I felt guilt because I'm like, I have to leave my little daughter and thing. But it, it felt good in the same, at the same time because I got do what I love and my mom took care of her. So I was comfortable. But um, it, it's challenging. But I love the two of them, so I'm mm -hmm. make it work. You, you, you have made mention of going on the road. Where are some of the places outside of Jamaica? We know you have done some fest, you have done Sting. Yeah, man, the Sting. Many, I think you did Sting after the top of my head, 2012, 2015. When else did it? 2010? 2016. You did it 2016 the, as the well. The very last, last thing, was right. it? Yes, I did okay. that one. Mm. Um, some fest, I did it up to 2015. Mm -hmm. Since um, since it has a new management, right, new, right, yeah, right. I haven't been on it since then. Okay. But, but outside um, of Jamaica, though, um, where are some of the places you have gone to perform? Um, as I mentioned before, Atlanta. Mm. You know, that, that's one of my favorite places. Okay. I've always had good experience performing in Atlanta. Washington, D.C., um, Philly, like the Jerk Festivals, um, St. Croix, mm. Barbados. You know, um, I did there. It's a crop over festival. Crop over is in Barbados. Yeah, that was so 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 good because I had a collaboration with um, one of their prominent stars over okay. there. His name is Brutal Crankster. Okay. You know, so I went over there during that time, and that was that was amazing. Good experience. Yeah, man. Is there anywhere where the rain not gonna fall yet? Which <laughs> open up for one of them? Yes, there. actually, I haven't been to Canada yet. You know, mm. I'd love to go to Canada, and I haven't been to England yet either. Mm. You know, it's mainly the U.S. and the Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah. Mm. Yes, man. But I still write my story, right. you know. Still right, right. Story, Early so days. Right. 
of the songs that you have done, I know you made mention of a few other songs very like listen and why would you that you love those songs? Mm -hmm. Is there a song in the catalog that resonates with you <coughs> more than the others? Like in your quiet time, you tear um when you're driving, when you're meditating, it is the one that comes most quickly to the thought. I I can't say one. Mm. I can't say one. I'd have to say two. Mm. Why would you? Because it's just the same how I, I really delivered that song with a lot of feeling, emotion, you know, based on what I was experiencing at the time. So even when it is that I perform it, it's like I bring back myself to that, that right, point in time right. and deliver it the same way. Um, so why would you? And my, I have to say Madem, because Madem. to me, that's the one that really, even if you go out on the road now and you say Rain Civil, and say, oh yeah, man, she sing the second song body or the Madem. Some people call it second body, body or the Madem song, so I can't leave that one out. Mm. Which song in the catalog do you think not getting the justice where it is? Right? <laughs> yes. If the man they just play the song Quite and get the song. Give me the one where you think that song should then be a bigger song. Um, listen. 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 Because the message of it is perfect. I'm encouraging kids to stay in school, to not get caught up in drugs, to not get caught up in... You know, certain things where you're not forget right. caught up in, um, you know, and I think it's a positive message that everyone can apply, kids, babies, adults, everybody can apply to. So, listen. Mm, I get the love. No. People, no, go listen, listen, no, man. No, listen, listen. Mm. <laughs> Looking it. at the journey, Lady Rain, what would you say is that thing that when, I, when you think of it or when you hear it or when you see it, it gives you that warm feeling, say, yeah. I mean that. What is that thing that musically so far you have achieved that makes you proud? Um, the love from fans. Mm -hmm. The love from fans. Because while I love it, while we as entertainers love it, the aim is for other people. Are the fun, they make it work. Right. Man. We do the work in order for people to love and appreciate mm -hmm. it. You understand? So trust me, I've had my moments where I'm like, I can't bother. Oh, yeah? I have had those moments. You understand? Especially when I record a really good song, I'm going to see it get the traction that I think it's deserving of. Um, when you see I get fight from people where you don't even know. You understand? <laughs> people where you don't even trouble. Yeah. So I've had those moments, but then when you see the fans, them, man, oh gosh, man. Mm. The way them hug me and, you know, tell me, oh, love you and this and that. I appreciate your music and that, that has been the most ideal thing for me musically yeah what is that thing that you haven't achieved as yet where you want to tick that something there um being international mm. being crossover in the, vibration the crossover vibration you know um being on stage with the beyonce them the Nicki Minaj, them the rihanna them you understand attending the grammys the mtv the billboard awards you know, that is, where, that is where I see myself. I haven't accomplished that yet, and that's why I'm saying I still I write my story. You understand? Go and write the story, man. Of course. Never too late for glory. <laughs> that's song right. Metal. Bill Ronnie. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, look, looking at the journey, though, Lady Rain, is there anything that you think you do differently should you get the opportunity to redo the musical journey? Um... Have, have a stronger team mm -hmm. from the jump. From the jump? Yeah, because while I'm talented, while I'm marketable, while I have, the, I have, I have a fan base, mm -hmm. nothing like having a team. Nothing like having, okay, the person they focus on my PR, yeah, mm. the person they focus on my accounting, the person they focus on my bookings, the person they focus on getting the interviews, you know, show everything. It's not because we can't do it alone. True. It, it, it's not going to be as effective as it can be mm -hmm. when you have the team. Yes. Another, um, well, while speaking to the artists, mm. one of the things that keeps coming up is the, the vexed issue of publishing and royalties? <laughs> um, I can't complain about that part. Big up yourself, man. Why, and that's why I must say, when people would say, okay, you have your marketing degree, why music? 
Music is a business. Right. It's not a hustle. It's not a play play thing. It's a business. You understand? So I knew from early about royalties. I understood the importance of registering my songs. I understood the importance of getting a split sheet. Mm -hmm. So when it's even when producers call me, you know, for, I'm like, okay, split sheet. I need for seed pump paper, say. May I get my 50 for do this? You get your 50. So I have all of them things they set in place. I can't complain about that. You never waste some other partner money up mm. you set them on. Big up yourself. You never uh. waste it. Big <laughs> up nice. Claudette. It's good to hear that though. It's good to hear that. Especially yeah, coming from an artist who is still relatively young. Yes. Thank you. Very nice, man. Very, very nice. What does Rain love enough other than music where she would end up to feed her family if it wasn't music? I mean, I know mean, um, you have your degree on one part, but is there something else outside of that you love enough where you then do that something? There? Well, um, in all actuality, actual, I, in all honesty, I have, I do other stuff outside of the music. Mm -hmm. Multiple sources of income is always a way to go because music. Talk to it. Yeah, man. For one month, you had the artist thing. For another two weeks, things get slow, then it come up back then. So you cannot rely on music, or even if you're successful. Right. Let's be honest, because Jay-Z, Beyonce, them successful, them and they have cologne, they have clothes, mm. they have production, they have... So um, I have other businesses. We have rentals, car rentals. We have a couple of taxi on road. <laughs> you know, um, I'm the, the, the manager for a car, car um, mart. Mm. Yeah, man, you know, that sell cars, three star auto. So um, that is it. So it. It's still business, sales, right. marketing. Business. It's all, yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. Nice. But, you have a rhythm or you love more than any other? Vegas have a song. Tell them say you know, and if you hear the name brand, I want them, 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 Book. Anything. Uh, I just happened to be in New York and decided to me I go. And then them spot me in the crowd. <laughs> I say, Rain, you have to come do a two song, man. I say, alright, cool. I say, DJ, drop the show time. Probably. Just give them a medley on that, man. Murder. <laughs> Murder. Way. The easiest rhythm that for, just, for me. Yes. Like that rhythm, they just give me a vibe where I can freestyle anything on it. Mm. In the streets, in the studio, is there anything body of work wise right in now. the pipeline all right um to be honest when the whole covid you know covid came about when 2020 like about march, yes, 2020. march 2020 the whole place got on lockdown the entertainment industry was one of them that felt it the most True. um so to be honest during that time well actually we had the pink rhythm out at that time right so which is an all-female rhythm and um, Delamar from RDX produced that one. So we were doing the promotions, a lot of promotions during that time. My song is called Community Body. Community Body. Cause of, cause I guess one now. I have to talk about this, teach them. Talk. I have to talk. <laughs> talk and right? talk. They have all kind of names for women now. Women are this, women are that. that, women are... Can, we can't say certain things. Or this is you a can't say it, man. It's a woman of war, woman mm. of seller, but woman are right. And then we'll never have a name for the man them. Well, they're oh, they're get, they're get. Then, well, yeah, come and say that in my song for true. So, man and dog, really but dog, yeah, that is true. <laughs> but that's still too nice for no man. Nice. That's still too nice. So, so <laughs> <laughs> that is how we came up with community body. You know, Delamar said, do a song a cuss off the man name. I'm going to say, all right, cool. Mm. You know, I may say, community body, community body. Yeah, they all about like road, Mr. Community body. Yeah, man, and show me the code for the man name will love. Sprinkle them something all about the place. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing the promotions for that during the COVID time. And, you know, and then that, that ended, that moment ended. And to be honest, I wasn't doing a lot of recording. Oh, okay. During that time, I was more focusing on, like, the car business and mm. stuff like that. Makes you know? sense. 
Yeah, because that was bringing mm. in the income at the time. You know, Makuna kind of slow. Yeah, you know, well. Makuna travel, no shows were keeping here, nothing like that. So, I honestly wasn't focusing on that. But now that things open up back and thing, mm. um, you know, and I actually have a single out with uh, an artist. He's Jamaican, but he lives in Florida. Um, Garrison Curtis. Garrison Curtis. Yeah. So. That song came out about two weeks ago. I'm going to New York in July to shoot the video. Nice. And, you know, I'm ready back for the recordings, promotions. You know, as they say, you see me, the angel, Pampute. We've been right, all doing right. our promotions and mm. stuff like that. Before I forget, when you were at Island Jams, mm -hmm. I think some notable people were in that camp. I think Blackman. Yes. Essence. Yes. Jamaics. Yes. <laughs> what was um, Voicemail. Voicemail, okay. Yes. Anybody else was in that camp at um, the time? Mr. Pepper. Mr. Pepper. Yes. Yeah, the gangster gorilla. Yeah, man, that was it. Uh, yeah, man, I was a good female. company, that man. Yeah, it was. Only and female again. Yes. Uh, yeah, man. You know, all right. Most teams have only one, one because guess what? It's so hard for females in the industry. Yeah. Uh, can't to really have, one of them. Yeah, because mm. you need to put yeah, a lot of focus. That makes a lot of sense. A lot you of know, sense. On, on the females. Yes. So, yeah, man, that was the case. Yes. I know you, have, you made mention a few times about songs that were written by, you say, Craig from Voicemail mm -hmm. wrote one of the songs. Yes. And um, I don't remember what I said. You write most of your material, though. Yeah, man. I definitely write, like, say I have a hundred songs in, mm. for example. Ninety of them, you, you write, write them. Yeah. yeah, man. You write for anybody? Um, Formally. No, I, I haven't. Uh, well, apart from Layla, but okay. <laughs> don't haven't. Probably you should look into that. Mm. Another stream of income, man. <clears throat> That's true. That's true. It's something I, you write, something, man, I just, it's, it's not for it's, your it's voice. It's true. It's somebody else you hear on it. That's very true. Thanks. Looking at it, man. Yeah, man. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Okay. I, I write. I write ninety percent of my songs. Very nice. So that is why when I time right, fit, you right, think, you think you know, balance. Yep. Me, yeah, I mean, I run that the Joe the Papa. For the people that want, they want to get in touch with the read for whatever bookings, <clears throat> dub plates, especially dub plates. Oh yes. How they go about finding you? All right. So you can contact me at seven nine six forty seven ten. That is eight seven six, of course. 796 4710. Then you have the email, which is raincivil at gmail.com. And then you know, you have the Instagram, you have the Facebook, you have the V. Well, people are really link people on Vivo. Right. But yeah, everything. But watch is, a video on Vivo, man. Right. Mm. Everything is rain civil, though. So it may be very easy for find. A lady rain. Yes. I have enjoyed this. I have enjoyed this too. I have enjoyed this. This is the. You know, so this are probably the. the, the yeah, this is the first interview I've done since a while. Mm, give thanks for And I, I'm, I'm very it. happy about because it did, you know, for those who don't know Rain, definitely will know Rain now. Nice. So thank you. It's a joy, man. And go and put in the work. I definitely and will. And the, 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 the desires that you have musically, I yes. trust that you will start bring some of them closer and closer. Yes. And move on to some others. Yes, manifest. Yes. Speak it into the universe. Thank you. And this is, is it taught before finished? It's like the total package. The image is there. Yes. The brain is there. Yes. The talent is there. Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> nice, man. Thank so you. So keep doing it. And we're here for support the music, you know. Yes. Yeah, you, so we're here for support the trust music. Trust me, the how way you know yeah. about me, I realize that, you know. You've to explain that, yeah. That's very good, you know. It's a we, job. We, uh, Apart of our job, everybody we, out here at the interview, you have to come different. Right. You know what Right. So it can go wild. We'll up prepare ourselves, man. In our real life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lady Rain. So, so just go on to the thing and, you know. In the future, I want to talk again. Yes. We have some more things that you have ticked off. Yes, definitely. Go on, do it. Go on, do it. Yes, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. Big up yourself. Big up on yourself. Make sure you follow me. Make sure you check out the video. Right, and now got my mind on my money. Money on my mind. You're not a business. Can't get my time. Also, me, I also for live for dream life. Working hard, not just to survive. Don't make dollars. Don't make sense. I feel you have more money than me can spend. Money, I'm my best friend. My best friend. Teach them. Rain civil and dust to the fullest.
Ride or die, me do my duty. Nobody get fooled by the beauty. When my woman get rod on the sushi, come my bad down my bougie. But girl and stush, girl, you can't call the same. No big girl can't call my name. The thing wet them. Why you really think them call me rain? Yo, some girl a trap behind me back, see me can't make a sound. Them say them a step up, but them not step alone. I wear them really think they think me left alone. I say them bad, well I must them breath alone. If I wear them want a piece, I tell them I'm no pepperoni. As a little girl, as you diss me, you get a stone. Now what? In a head something, I did your drone. Me not fi bone a spliff for bad. Me rub them out quicker than a 50 bag. Yo, black rain, oh, your tan so bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad damn my bougie. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!